Hello dear students and welcome to this video. In this video, I will talk about all the ideas that we will cover in unit 4, which is entitled with trigonometric functions and their graphs. We will start this unit by making a quick revision on the right angle triangle because we will use this right angle triangle in order to introduce the trigonometric functions. We will discuss six different trigonometric functions which are sine theta, cosine theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotan theta. Where theta is the angle that we want to find that trigonometric functions for. In the right angle triangle, first we will make a quick revision on the Pythagorean theorem in order to re revise how to find a missing side in the right angle triangle. After that, we will use this triangle in, or in order to introduce the six trigonometric functions that we mentioned before, starting with the sine theta, which is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, cosine theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent. Then we will move to the reciprocal of the trigonometric functions, which is which will start with the cotan theta, which is equal to 1 over tan theta, cosecant theta, which is equal to 1 over sine theta, and secant theta, which is equal to 1 over cosine theta. After, we will, after introducing these six trigonometric functions, we will use them to solve the right angle triangle. After that, we will move to find the area of a triangle using the sine rule, we will prove that the area of the tri any triangle can be found as 1 over 2 times AB sine theta, where theta is the angle between any two sides that are in that triangle. Then we will move to the XY plane, talking about the unit circle. The unit circle, it's a circle that's drawn in the XY plane with radius equals 1 and center equals 0 and 0. We will know how to find the six trigonometric functions on using the unit circle in order to find the value of certain angles such as 30, 60, 45, 90, 180, and 270. After that, we will split the XY plane into four quadrants in order to check the sign of these six trigonometric functions and we will use this sign in order to find the value of other angles that lies in the second, third and fourth quadrant. Then we will move to graphing the trigonometric functions starting with the sign. We will know some terms such as the period of the trigonometric function the maximum value and the minimum value of the trigonometric function, the amplitude, and we will discuss two main things in this lesson. First, we will know how to graph a certain type of functions depending on the transformation and using the main features of each trigonometric function. And the other part is when we have a certain graph of a trigonometric function, we have to know what's the rule for that graph. Then we will know how to solve trigonometric equations depending on something called the periodicity of a trigonometric function and something called the reference angle. Depending in the, in, on these two main things, which is the reference angle and the sign of the trigonometric function in the xy plane, we will know how to find all the solutions for the trigonometric equations. When I say trigonometric equations, it's like solving, for example, sine squared of x plus 1 equals 1 over 2. Then we will talk about basic transformation for trigonometric function, such as translation to the right or to the left, up or down, reflection, and we will know how does these transformation affect the trigonometric functions. 
After that, we will move to the inverse trigonometric functions. We will know how to graph them, how to find the period for them, how to find the amplitude, and what's the relation between the inverse trigonometric function and the main trigonometric function. I want to remind you that this is a very important unit, especially for those students who, who want to take the AB calculus course next year. I want to focus on that we will take a good time in order to cover all the ideas that are in this unit, and we will find some useful and shortcut ways in order to focus on the main ideas that we want in this unit. I want to thank you all for listening, and I can't wait to see you in the class.